Hey, howdy guys, Connor McCaskill here, and today I'm going to be talking to you about the Mavic Air 2 drone. Now, joining me while shooting this video, this seems really dangerous, is uh, Dave Mays. He's actually flying the drone right now. What's really cool is that this entire video is going to be shot on the Mavic Air 2. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and begin. So the Mavic Air 2 comes in kind of in the middle of the price bracket and of the whole drone lineup from DJI. It's coming in at $799 for the base model. And in terms of size, price, and performance, I think it's the perfect middle ground for most people. If you want something that's super lightweight and affordable, then go for the Mavic Mini. If you want something more professional with a one inch sensor and 10 bit options, then go for the Mavic 2 Pro. The Mavic Air 2, in my opinion though, is the best all around option, giving you incredible 4K image quality, and it's honestly the perfect size. It's not too small and not too big. I think the Mavic Air 2 is the perfect middle ground drone, and that's what this whole video is all about. So the Mavic Air 2 is actually a very powerful drone. It's able to shoot 4K at 60 frames per second, which is interesting because the Mavic 2 Pro, which is the professional version of this drone, could not actually do that. Now this does have a half inch sensor and the Pro has a one inch sensor, but that's still really impressive. Also, it's a 48 megapixel sensor, so it is able to shoot 8K photos, which is really, really crazy. It's a really awesome feature. So like all DJI drones, the Mavic Air 2 has an amazing tracking feature. And as you can see, as I'm walking around right here, the drone is completely flying itself. This is the auto track, I think they call it Active Track 2.0 now. False. And it's doing this all completely robotically and magically. There's actually a little train here that hopefully it'll avoid because this drone also has full obstacle avoidance, just like the Pro models. Now it doesn't have full 360 degree obstacle avoidance, but it's got front, back, and lower obstacle avoidance. It doesn't actually have side to side, which is kind of important in most cases, but the front obstacle avoidance cameras can capture a wider range than you would normally imagine. So if you're flying straight towards a tree or a building, it's gonna do a fine job tracking that and avoiding that thing. I mean, as you can see, if I go faster, it follows me. I can also put a little bit more throttle on it, go up higher, and the camera stays locked on my position as the drone goes up. Really amazing feature to have with this. Now included with the drone, you get the active track, but you also get these kind of specialty modes. I never use these, but they're cool. They're like a drony, uh, there's like a spin around mode. These are really interesting and they're cool for social media. But as a professional, this feature alone is well worth the drone price. Active Track 2.0, it's great, you should try it. So the Mavic Air 2 is also supporting a much greater range than the Mavic Air 1. So previously with the Mavic Air 1, we were using a Wi-Fi based connection, but now with the Mavic Air 2, we're using OcuSync 2.0, which is a radio based connection. The radio based connection was actually on the Mavic 2 Pro, but we are now getting it on the Air series, which is really cool. So we're getting from two miles of range with the Series 1 Air to six miles of range with the Air 2, which is really, really cool. Another great addition over the Air 1 to the Air 2 is gonna be battery life. The battery life on the Air 1 was only 20 minutes. Well, now we have up to 34 minutes of flight time with the Air 2, which is great because We've been only using one battery this entire time and it's lasted us this entire video, which is pretty awesome. I do have to say, it does have one other really cool thing and that has its own controller that's different than the Pro Series drones. Now, it's gotten a lot of love, it's gotten a lot of hate. Dave really likes the new controller. As you can see, there's a new controller right there. I've not used it much, so I cannot speak to it, but Dave does really like it and he's had the drone for a while, so take that for what it's worth. But I've gotta say, I really like the Mavic Air 2. I think that it might be the best bang for buck camera. It's got a lot of pro features. It's got a lot of consumer features. I really feel like it's a beautiful middle ground for the drone community. So if you're looking for a really awesome professional drone for under $1,000, Mavic Air 2 is definitely the drone for you. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was kind of fun, kind of creative. And as always, thanks for hanging. Cool.